Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. Hello all. Welcome to Ganesh IAS Academy. This is the special session. In this session we are going to discuss about the previous year UPSC prelims economy question. Okay? So this session is morely focus on or purely focus on how to approach the upcoming prelims exam. Okay? And also how to find the certain extreme statements. Okay? And also how to identify the easy questions. Okay? how to find the easy pattern question okay so all these things will be discussed here okay this will helps you to up the this way of help will these things will help you to apply in the upcoming prelims to solve the any questions okay not only the economic question but also the geography or environment or else economy okay so any questions you can apply the logic and you can easily solve the question okay so all these things will be discussed here okay so let's begin the session we already spoke about this okay so if the anything is the upsc question is saying that it is more than a decade okay so for the uh, for a five years this state uh, this uh, there is a steady increase or else a steady drop okay so for five years or 10 years if the time period is increasing means more likely the statement will be wrong okay so this is the one of the mantra you have to follow okay the time period is increasing means definitely the statement will be wrong okay the reason is go with this uh, statement consider the following statement the tax revenue as a percentage of gdp of india has steadily increased for last decade okay so whatever decade you can choose okay 2010 to 20 okay or else 2000 5 to 2015 okay so whatever time period you can choose okay consider that for the uh, past 10 years okay or else any time period whether the tax revenue will be like this is it possible steadily increasing means this is the way the graph should be this is not even possible the reason is okay definitely there will be certain fluctuation in the market Okay, see, uh, India have the time of uh, five years of election. Okay, so in the time period of election, there will be certain drop and rise that will happen. Okay, and also if there is any changes in the American market or in the American political area, okay, that also have the certain impact in India. Okay, we are not a closed economy. Okay, and if there is any issue in the West Asia, that will reflect in the petrol price crude oil price okay so that will have the reflection in the tax revenue okay see because india is in the open market it is in the globalized world okay so you can't claim that there is a steady drop or steady increase okay see i consider in the 2014 to 24 okay in between there was a covid okay or else i am considering the 2005 to 2015 in between there is a subprime crisis okay at the same time there was a it sector recession there is a downfall in the it sector okay so see consider that if it is a time period of one year or two year means they, then you can say that there will be increase or decrease okay for past 10 years okay for a decade okay for a decade means how will you claim that there is a steady okay so the steady okay if the any question is considering the time frame of more than 10 years or it is greater than 5 years means okay with the statement it, it is coming with steadily continuously okay such a way the statement is followed means definitely the statement will be wrong okay because the time period and the extreme statement of steadily or continuously is combined means definitely the statement will be wrong okay so the first statement is wrong okay second statement fiscal deficit as a percentage of gdp of india has steadily increased this is also again wrong okay according to the frbm act okay what the government need to follow is they have to reduce the fiscal deficit okay they have to reduce their borrowing activities okay that is the thumb rule they have to follow 
okay so in such a scenario even though they did the fiscal deficit in the time of covid 19 okay but at the same time before that covid 19 okay there is certain uh, reduction in the fiscal deficit the government try try to follow the frbm rules okay but due to the covid 19 they have to follow the escape clause introduced in the frbm act so they go for the high fiscal deficit high borrowing and they spend on the people okay so by that okay last decade and steadily okay if the thing is combined and come in any statement means then definitely the statement will be wrong okay so for this both the statements are wrong okay so it's neither one nor two okay so this is how you have to solve it okay if you find these kinds of statement means try to attend it okay within 20 seconds you can clear this okay within 20 seconds you just move to the next question okay so this these kinds of question are a time saver okay so try to find these kinds of question first okay see i won't say that they will ask uh, definitely one question fr from this uh, this type okay it, wo it won't be possible okay but if it is that means uh, try to answer it okay if it is saying that uh, for last 10 the last decade for 10 years for 15 years okay the time frame is greater than 5 years and it is followed by the steadily or continuously mean definitely it will be wrong okay 99.99 percentage it will be wrong okay this is one of the mantra you have to follow okay so if it if the statement is cont contains any word, words like only drastically enormously okay then it may be there is a possibility for the wrong okay and also if the statement is contained these time frames and followed by the steadily and continuously mean then that is the possibility for the statement will be wrong okay so these are the thumb rules you have to follow by that you can reduce the time period of spending a certain time in the one single question okay thank you <laughs>